Hello, this is Presh Talwalkar. This is the final video in the series on how to solve the Rubik's Cube where we solve the final layer. So once you're done with this, you'll have solved the cube. All right, we have two layers of the cube solved, and now the task is to solve the final layer. The first step in this process is to create a yellow cross. In the cube we're looking at, we don't have any of the pieces of the yellow cross complete. Your cube may have two pieces, either adjacent or across from each other. So I'll get to those. We're only going to need to know one sequence of moves. So we go F, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. When you do that, when you have none of the yellow cross, you'll end up getting two pizza pieces in the yellow cross. So here we have two adjacent pieces and we want to orient them so that they're going to be the left and back pieces from whatever face we're looking at. So it's very important. You can orient this in a couple of different ways. We're going to look at the face that gives those two pieces to be the left and back sides of the yellow cross. Then we go ahead and do F, R, U, R prime, U prime, and F prime. So it's the same sequence of moves. And now those two adjacent pieces will be two opposite pieces. And we're going to look at the same face and do the move again. F, R, U, R prime, U prime, and F prime. And that'll bring us to the yellow cross. So it doesn't matter whether you start out with none of the yellow cross, two adjacent pieces, or two opposite pieces. This is how you solve the yellow cross. At this point, you've solved two layers of the cube. You've solved the white layer, you've solved the middle layer, and now you have the yellow cross. So now what we're going to do is position the pieces in the yellow cross so that the edges are matching the centers. So turn the cube around and inspect it. At first there are no edges that are matching. So let's rotate it around until we have one that is matching. When you have one that's matching, it's either going to be two opposite pieces. Here we have green and blue that are matching or they're going to be two adjacent pieces. You may also have all four of them solved, in which case you're already done. But let's start out with the worst case where there are two opposite sides that are matching. So look at one of the sides, which is opposite, and then do R, U, R prime, U, R, U, U, and R prime. And what this will do is this will bring us to the case where we have two adjacent pieces that are matching. And finally, now in this case we want to transpose the two that are not matching. So let's look at the two pieces which are matching and put them on the right side and the back side. So that's how you want to orient it and look at a face so that the adjacent ones which are matching are the right side and the back side. Then we go ahead and do the same move. R, U, R prime, U, R, U, U, R prime, and finally U. And now we'll have all four of the edge pieces of the yellow cross that are matching. All right, now we have a cube where two layers are completely solved. And when we look at the yellow layer, we have made the white cross. So the next step is to put the corners in the correct position. So we inspect if any of the corners are in the correct position. This blue matches the blue, but the orange does not match the red. The green matches the green, but the orange does not match the red. Here we have red, which doesn't match orange. 
And finally, we see that the red and orange... So none of these four corners are in the correct position. Your cube may have a few more, but here's what you do. You go U, R, U prime, L prime, U, R prime, U prime, and L. So this will bring at least one of the corners into the correct position. And here is one of the corners. So here we have green and orange that's in the correct position. So the remaining corners are not in the correct position. So we're going to do the same move again. Put the correct corner in the upper right of the face you're looking at. So we go U, R, U prime, L prime, U, R prime, U prime, and L. And this will move the other corners around. So it doesn't matter whether they're in the correct orientation for now. We see that, all right, none of the corners have actually been moved to the correct position. So we go ahead and do the move once more. U, R, U prime, L prime, U, R prime, U prime, and L. And now we actually have put all of the corners in the correct position. So some of them are not in the correct orientation. That's what we'll solve in the next video. All right, we're almost done. We have two layers of the cube completely solved. We have the yellow cross solved. And now all of the corners are in the correct position, but maybe not the correct orientation. So there's just one move that we need to use to put them in the correct orientation. So looking at any of the faces, we go R prime D prime R, D. And we look to see if that yellow is at the top. Since it's not, we do the same move again. We go R prime, D prime, R, D. And now this yellow is at the top. Now what's very important, we hold the cube, we look at the same face, and we rotate just the top. Now we repeat the same sequence. We go R prime, D prime, R, D. Yellow is not at the top, so we do it again. R prime, D prime, R, D. Yellow is not at the top, so we're going to have to do this two more times. R prime, D prime, R, D. And finally, once more, R prime, D prime, R, and D. And now, when we rotate the cube in the top layer, we have two of the corners that are in the correct position and the correct orientation. And we have two corners that need to be solved. So we're going to repeat this procedure. We look at one of the faces where the corner is not in the correct orientation. And we go, and we're going to solve these two corners using the same sequence of moves. So we go R prime, D prime, R, D. Then R prime, D prime, R, D. We still don't see yellow at the top, so we go ahead and do this two more times. And at this point, we see yellow at the top. Now, once again, very importantly, looking at the same green face, just turn the top 
and we're going to do the same sequence of moves. R prime, D prime, R, D, R prime, D prime, R, D. And at this point, we have the corners in the correct orientation and we've solved the cube. There's one more case to consider. Let's say you have a cube with two layers solved. You have the yellow cross and you have the corners in the correct position, but three of them do not have the correct orientation. So we're going to do R prime, D prime, R, D. And we keep doing this until we see yellow at the top. So we go R prime, D prime, R, D. We still don't see yellow at the top. So we go ahead and do R prime, D prime, R, D. R prime, D prime, R, D. And now yellow is correctly positioned at the top. This corner is in the correct orientation. So holding on to that face, we turn just the top and we're going to do the same sequence of moves over again. So R prime, D prime, R, D. R prime, D prime, R, D. So we don't see yellow at the top, so we're going to need to do this same sequence moves two more times. R prime, D prime, R, D. R prime, D prime, R, D. Now we see yellow at the top, and we once again just turn the top, we hold the face that we're looking at, and we're going to do this sequence of moves a few more times until we get that corner in the correct orientation. So it's very important that you do these moves carefully and slowly. I'm going to do them faster because I know I've been doing it many times. But eventually you will get yellow at the top and you rotate the top layer and you solve the cube. I hope you like this entire series. Please subscribe to my channel. I make videos on math and game theory. You can support me on Patreon. Catch me on my blog, Mind Your Decisions, on Twitter at Prashtawakar, and you can get my books listed on my website.